go over there in the Word, in the Old Testament. The Lord instructed His children. He said, when you come in to the gates, He said, if you come into the north gate, and leave out the south gate. Come on now. He said, if you come in the east gate, leave out the west gate. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I don't believe we ought to leave the same way we came. That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. If you come sick, you ought to leave healed. Amen. Amen. If you come lost, you need to leave saved. Yes, amen. Glory to God. Don't ever leave the presence of the Lord. It's Hallelujah. We need to reach out and take a hold to Him. Amen. Amen. We'll see just exactly what we need. Glory to God. Amen. I'm enjoying the presence of the Lord tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I want us tonight, if you would, bring uh, if you got your Bible, look over in the book of Exodus for just a few minutes. Amen. I'm going to preach very long tonight. Amen. I've been accused a time or two of being a long winded preacher, but. But I think I just had some short winded here. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> amen. But I, amen. I believe we, we're not going to be too long tonight, though. Amen. Praise the Lord. Exodus, if you would, tonight, chapter number three. Amen. Very familiar scriptures here. Amen. If you read your Bible, it is anyway. Praise the Lord. How many loves the Word of God? Amen. Glory to God. You've got to have the Word. Amen. Chapter 3, verse number 1, the Bible says, Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God even to for it. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight why the bush is not burning. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, Draw not nigh hither, but put off thy shoes from off thy feet. For the place whereon thou stands is holy ground. Yeah, come on now. It's a good foundation right Amen. here. Glory to God. I want to preach for a few minutes tonight to you on the subject of answer the call. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Answer the call. The call. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Dear God in heaven. <clears throat> Lord, tonight I thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to stand God, Lord, here in, in this sacred chance. Lord, I'll take it from you. Sir, I, I ask now, God, no Lord, I'm hopefully in in take for insufficient. Lord, to ask God to do this great task here, Lord. Carry this word. Lord, tonight, I'm, God, I'm just depending on you right now. And in need of the anointing of the Holy Spirit to come. Lord, upon me, God. Preach your word, Lord, as you would yes, see. Lord. God, this is your word. Lord, it's not mine, Lord, it's yours. God, this is your house. Lord, this, is your, this is your pulpit, your microphone, Lord. God, I'm depending on you to come now, Lord. Yes, have your way. God, touch every person here tonight. Let us have receive way, from Lord. you. Lord, open our ears, God, that we can hear what you Bless have to us say. Us for God, we thank you for this Bless Lord, right now. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 Everyone said, amen. 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 Praise amen. the Lord. Answer 
the call. And man, you know, there's there's a lot of calls at my home that goes unanswered. <laughs> We don't even use the phone in any part of the house. I don't know why we continue to pay the bill for that thing. But, hey man, I guess I've just had that number so long I don't want to get rid of it. But, since we've got cell phones a few years back, we don't even care much for them. My home phone, don't even, I don't know that I remember the last time I answered it. But most everybody anyway that knows us calls us on our cell phones. But, you know, there's a lot of phone calls that goes unanswered. It just rings and rings and rings and never gets answered. And, you know, I thought about that as today as I was looking at the Word and praying and asking the Lord, God, what do you want for these folks tonight, Lord? Amen. They began to show me this here in, in, in Exodus how that God is still calling people. Yeah. Amen. He's still he, he's still ringing out to people with his call. Yeah. And he's still got a work to do today in, in this year, 2000. Hallelujah. The call of God still rings out true. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come and die. Amen. The Master's call of coming down. Amen. The Word still rings out. And so tonight the Lord is still has call upon different one's life. And there's many here tonight. I know pastors and, 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 and teachers and preachers and singers and ministers of the gospel here tonight. And, and uh, But I'm beli I believe there may be some here tonight that maybe have not been uh, stepped up to the call that God's got a call in your life. And I want you to pay close attention to this message tonight. Amen. Because we are truly living, as, as they sang a while ago, we're living... In the very last days, and and we're just about. That's Lord, right. Amen. Yeah. Jesus, that's right. Come back for yeah. this church. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I want to be found faithful. Woo, come on, man. Yeah. I want to be found about the Father's business. Yeah. When he comes back. I want to be found reaching yeah. souls and doing His work, doing His bidding. So tonight, another message is just simply answer, answer the call. Amen. You know, Moses, and I'm sure most of you know the story of Moses. You know, he, he, he couldn't answer the call where he was at. He was raised up in Egypt. A man lived in the home of Pharaoh. Yeah. And he, he, he could not answer the call there from, from the pomp and the prestige. Of where he lived at. Amen. God had a call on his life. Woo, come on, amen. God had a great call. Amen. Yeah. This Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah. And what God would do with Moses could not be done in the palaces of Egypt. Amen. Amen. What the Lord would do with Moses, amen, would come from the backside of the desert. Amen. As we read here in this third chapter of Exodus, the Lord found him there. On the back side of that desert and began to speak to him and began to lay out the plan of God for yes. his life. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that 40 years had passed by as he was in this desert. 40 years of desert, I believe we could say, was needed. Amen. For the call of God to come to fruition Amen. in his life. Amen. 40 years of desert experience to bring him to a place where he would be humble. Amen. amen. As he had lived 40 years, amen, in the palace, 40 years as a prince of Egypt, 40 years as the heir to the throne. Amen. But God would put him in this place now and 40 years in this desert to humble him to the strength of his flesh could be brought down to where he would no longer depend upon the flesh. Amen. Amen. How many knows tonight we can do nothing in the flesh? That's right. We can Amen. do nothing with our talent, our abilities, our intellect, 
Amen. That does nothing in the plan of God, as we've already said tonight. Woo! It takes yeah. the Spirit of God to move. Yeah. Amen. The Spirit of God flows through a man or a woman of God, and the Word flows forth. Amen. And breaks the heart and deals with people. Amen. And they're convicted. Glory be to God. Thanks. Thanks be yes, to God amen. tonight. Amen. Glory to God for the call of God on men and women's lives. Hallelujah. Going forth tonight. Amen. But all hopes of the flesh must die. Amen. 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 The flesh. What is the flesh? It's not living a sinful life. That's not what the flesh is. The flesh is what you can do with these hands. What you can Come do. Come on now. Amen. With your talent or your ability. Amen. That cannot accomplish nothing. Amen. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. That's right. Amen. Come on. Amen. You can do nothing. Amen. It is That's all right. Him. Glory to God. Amen. It's not 90% God and 10% me. Amen. But it's all God. Hallelujah. Woo, it's yeah. all Him. He does it all. Yeah. Amen. All He needs is my faith. Faith tonight, trusting Amen. in Him. Amen. But we, but Moses had to come to this place of this desert experience. Amen. The Prince of Egypt here, the heir to the throne. Amen. Now come to a place where he's shoveling sheep dung. Come Amen. On. He's come to a place, amen, where he's been lowered down. Amen. No longer dependent upon who he is or what he can do or what he can produce. Amen. I know tonight that the backside of a desert for most people is not a desirable place to be. Can I get an amen? It's hey, not a position that you would just dream about at night. Oh, that I could get on the back side of the desert. Amen. But I'm telling you, that's where God is at. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's where God found Moses at. Amen. In that back side of that desert that day. Amen. But when God wanted a man or a woman of God to do something, I found it from the Bible from cover to cover. I've noticed this one thing. When he wanted a man, amen, he didn't ask for nobody to vote. Amen. And get a popular vote for somebody. Amen. He wasn't looking for somebody head and shoulders above that's everybody right. else. That's, right. that's what the people wanted, don't you know? Come amen. On. But God was not looking for talent. He was not looking Woo! for ability. Yeah. He was not interested if you could sing pretty, amen, or preach the loudest. Amen. No, sir. The Bible said he looked on the heart. Yeah. Amen. Even Samuel made that mistake when he went to anointing. Amen. He said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before Come me. On. He began to look on the outward. He began to look on his ability. Amen. But God said, Don't look there. Amen. He said, I've got somebody chosen. Amen. My oh, goodness, he's looking for somebody. Amen. He found him a little boy. Amen. On the back side. Yeah. Amen. Of that field of Bethlehem. Amen. Yeah. He had sheep dung between his toes. Amen. Amen. He had nothing to look upon. He wasn't what somebody would say. There's the next pastor of the church. Oh. Amen. That would be the last thing they would have thought when they looked at him. Oh. Amen. Here's the next king. No, sir. Amen. He's over there. Nothing much to him. Amen. But I'm here to tell you tonight that's what God does. Amen. Amen. He looks on the heart. Hallelujah. Yeah. He looks on the heart and finds somebody that he can work through. Amen. Well, that will submit himself to him. That will humble their heart yeah. to God and say, Lord, yeah. I need you. I can't do it without you, Lord. Hallelujah. I have the Holy Ghost upon me. And as he went out to battle, amen, he didn't depend upon the armor of Saul. That's right. Amen. He went out there to the battle and he, said, he told Goliath what he depended upon. He said, you come against me with a spear and a sword, but I come to you. Amen. I'm not coming here yeah. in my name. Yeah. I'm not coming. I'm not trying to save yeah. face because I don't have a face. Amen. I'm coming as a representative. Woo! He said, I'm just a deliverer. Yeah. boy. Ain't nothing to me. I'm just coming in the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He give that rock a oh, Amen. Free out the wind. Amen. And pound with that shout. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord tonight. I believe God is looking Amen. to pay still for 
for men and women of God that will step up to the call and answer that call that's ringing out tonight. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But he's always looking for workers in this way. See, the Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, it said, For you see, you're calling brethren that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord tonight. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Amen. The Bible said that Elijah, when he began to look for somebody that would take his place, amen, he went right on by those Bible school boys. He went amen. right on by that college, amen. He didn't stop in there and talk to them. He went right on by and he went right on down to the field where the man was plowed with a yoke of oxen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he touched him. Amen. And that man said, Oh, I felt something when you touched me. Woo! Hallelujah. I got to have yeah. a double portion of what I yeah. felt back there in that cotton patch. Amen. He said, All right. Amen. You've asked a hard thing. Thank but you, Lord. if you see me when I go, amen, you'll have it. Hallelujah. Amen. Why is it a hard thing? Because he was reaching over on, the New Testament promise. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Where sin had to be done away yeah. completely before the Holy Ghost could dwell in the heart of man. Amen. amen. But he said, nevertheless, if you see me when I go, you'll have it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. And I shall follow that man of God every amen. day. Amen. The the Bible school boys trying yeah, to discourage, trying to tell him you, you don't need to follow him. You, they they try to discourage him oh. from following Elijah. Amen. They were sometimes Woo, they yeah. have people in the church and your family oh. will even try to discourage you from following and believing God for your oh. miracle and your breakthrough. Yeah, and even, amen, Elijah yeah. told him, he said, wait right here yeah. and I'll be back in a little while. He said, no, sir, not on your life. That's amen, right. nothing going to come between me and you. Not even a tree. Amen. When you lay down to sleep at night, Elijah, Woo! I'm going to lay my hand over the cross chair yeah. and I'm going to tie a strap around your toe. You not leave it get the spark from me. I'm going to watch you when I Amen. come you know. Amen. I'm going to have that that God has told Amen. me I can have. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. 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 God did. Elijah anointed. Elijah. But the point is, it went right by all of those Bible school boys. Amen. The Bible said that he also, he went, he found an Amos farm boy turned prophet. Amen. The Bible said he went and found a Shamgar. Amen. He, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hear me tonight. Amen. He's always done this. Amen. He went and found, he, he didn't go to the elite. He didn't go to the to the high, and I'm not appealing for ignorance. Don't Come misunderstand on. me. Amen. But he went to the fishermen. Amen. Amen. The ignorant ones. Amen. He went to them. He sorted did. Amen. And he found him. Amen. And he filled them with the knowledge of God. And he anointed them and called them and appointed them and anointed them and sent them forth. Amen. I'm trying to encourage you tonight. Don't well, think Lord. because you don't have some great talent that God can't use you. Don't think that you don't have a great education Amen. that God can't use you. He's got a call. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know how no matter where you've been, yeah. no matter what kind of muck and mire yeah. he's pulled you up out of, amen, don't look back. Look at them to Jesus, amen. the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. And he's going to anoint you and use you. Amen. Amen. In a great way, Woo. in the call of God, amen. We need to answer the call. That's good preacher, brother. Come on. Answer the call. Amen. amen. My goodness, I got to move on. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. But the Lord has always went and looked and found people like that. I, I know that my life and many of you can testify the same way. Amen. Why in the world would the Lord want to use somebody like me? Come on now. Amen. I know that's what I say anyway. Amen. Why in the world would God want to use me? Why would He make a preacher out of me? My goodness, I don't ever got nothing to say. Come on now. Amen. I've always been kind of a quiet person. Yeah. Amen. But 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 God, Amen, can use you because He's not depending on what you can produce. 
Yeah. It's not the people. Yeah. You know, we, we, we get the, the, the idea sometimes, well, oh, look at that great talent they have. Lord, God could really use Come them on, in the now. ministry. No, he Come on. Amen. He'd have to first get them humbled down and get rid of that pride. Yeah. Amen. Get them where they can depend upon the Amen. Amen. For the Holy Spirit Amen. to for them then they can use. Yes. Yeah. Glory Amen. to God. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Amen. God has got a call. Amen. He's still calling out. Amen. There's still, uh, my God, there's, there's so many people out there today that needs to be saved and needs to hear That's the gospel right. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. They, they just need somebody like you to come yeah. along and share the word with them and share a word of love Amen. with them and tell them that somebody does care about them. Tell them that somebody does love them. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, bless Amen. the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord tonight. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. And he found Moses here on the back side of the desert. Right. Amen. If God's going to appear to you, amen, their pride's going to have to go. Amen. That's right, brother. Amen. All our hope has to be in, in Christ. That's right. Amen. You know, I preached a message a, a couple of years ago. Entitled, Why Does the World Hate Hate the Cross? Or Why Does the World Hate Jesus? Or something like this. Come on. Amen. And the answer is that I've I, I went out into this community and I've knocked on, I believe, every door fountain, Youngstown, Alpha. I mean, I, I, 15 miles in every direction of you. Knock on every door. Me and this man of God right here and, sister and several of us that have went out and done this. And I've talked to different people and and, and, and I've heard the stories about why they that, that they you know I, I'm a good person. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, God's not gonna make me go to hell. I, I've done these good things and I'm a good person. Yeah, I heard that before. Amen. And and, and people it, it's hard for people to get the idea that that hey, I'm such a bad person because they don't think no, what do you me, I own my own business. I pay my bills. I donate to this. I do all these. You mean I'm such a terrible person in my heart? I'm so bad that it would take God coming down from heaven to die on a cross, his bloody body, his corpse. He would die there to pay for my sin because I'm such a bad person. It's hard for people to grab a hold of that. Amen. But that's where you must come to that place right. or you're not going to get saved. Amen, brother. You gotta get somebody else for you to get them saved. That's right. You got to realize, hey, I'm that's right. I'm a, I'm a I'm sinner. Right. Yeah. Me? I'm a yeah. sinner. Yeah. Amen. And so my goodness. Many times we don't want to give up our, our, our good deeds and our good works. Amen. You know, Abraham, he didn't want to give up Israel. That was his work of the flesh. He didn't want to give up that boy, but Sarah had it right. She said, him and Isaac's not going to be. He's got to go. The flesh has got to go. The Amen. flesh and the spirit cannot go together. That's right. Amen. Amen. And so here God found Moses here, and the angel appeared to him. And Moses said in the third verse, I will turn aside and see this great sight while the bush is not burned. And the Lord saw that he turned aside to see God called into him in the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. You know, that's the same person that spoke Moses. Moses is the same one that said, Mark the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. Huh? Amen. 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 The same one that said, Saul, Saul. Yeah. Samuel, Samuel. Simon, Simon. Amen. The same one that also said in verse 7, he said, I have surely seen your affliction. I'm yeah. telling you, he's a compassionate God. I have seen. He said, I have heard their cry. Amen. He said, I know their sorrows. He said, I am come down to deliver them. And I'm come to, to bring them up into a land of good land. Amen. This is the same God that I'm preaching about here tonight. Amen. That loves you and cares Amen. for you and has a call on your life to reach yes. others. Amen. I'm, I want to look at this verse real, real quick. Verse 5. Amen. I, I've got to finish this up. He said, and, and he said, draw not nigh hither, but put off thy shoes from all thy feet. For the place where thou standest is holy ground. Amen. Amen. Holy Amen. ground. Yeah. I'm still preaching. You say, how in the world does that person have anything to do with the call of God? 
Come on, still preaching. Answer the call. Amen. Amen. That first thing we got to realize is, is that taking off your shoes on the holy ground, the first thing you got to know is that it, it, it's not holy unless the Lord's there. Amen. All right, come on. There's nothing holy about this building. That's right. That's right. Unless the Lord's here. Right, yeah. come on. When he's there, that's what makes it holy. Amen. That's what made that ground holy is because God was there. You get what I'm saying? Amen. 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 So he was there, therefore it was holy ground. And the Lord said, take off your shoes for where you're standing is holy, holy ground. Amen. The ground was holy because yeah. God was there in yeah. that place. Amen. So Moses, we know he was born to be a deliverer. We know that God had a call on his life. Amen. He was born that way with a call on his life. Amen. To be a deliverer. Amen. Lord. But he will not receive that call until now. He's 80 years old. Amen. 80 years old. Amen. And the first rebuke that God gives Moses is about holiness. Come on. Amen. The first rebuke that God gives Moses here, he says to be aware of the holiness of this place because God is here. Yeah. The Lord rebuked him right there. He said, you need to be aware now this is the holy place. And it's nothing to do with the place. It's to do with the fact that God is there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It was God who made the place holy. Amen. Amen. So it's holy as long as the Lord is there. Do you understand? Yeah. As long as the Lord is there, it's holy. Yeah. Because He is the holy God. That's right. Amen. Holy, holy is the Amen. Lord. And so every true believer, you and I, every person amen. that has been born again and God has filled them up with His love, amen, every true believer is a temple of the Holy Spirit, all right? Amen. Thank Every God. true believer is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But but you're it's only holy because his presence is Amen. 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 I'm getting somewhere. Just stay with me. I said it's only holy because his presence is there. The same way that that place was holy, the same way that that ground was holy because he was there, Amen. it's the same reason that you're holy is because he's there. Yeah. And it's not because you got the long sleeves and the long hair and the long skirts and you whatever you all whatever things, convictions that you may have, they do not make you holy. Amen. You're holy because Woo. God the Holy Ghost has took up residence yeah. within yeah. your heart and he lives in you. Amen. And he has made you holy. You yes. cannot make yourself holy. Woo. Yes. Good Amen. preaching, brother. Good preaching. All right. So he has made you holy. Amen. You're a temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the word says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, he said, but if any man defile, uh-oh. Come on now. If any man defile a temple of God, him shall God destroy. How many ever read that verse? Come on. We don't like to read that one. Let's stay away from them verses, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Hallelujah. Bless him, God. They said, draw not nigh hither. I'm getting there. Just hang on. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet for the place where thy status is holy ground. Now, people have tried to make a doctrine out of that and, and tried to, you know, take us take our shoes off and we'll feel more holy. And I we have nothing against that. Take them off if you want to. Go ahead. Amen. Be like Peg McCain and kick them from one side of the other. It's all right. Yeah. Amen. But it's, but it's been kind of turned around a little bit to the point where they've tried to make a little doctrine out of it or something. But it has a much deeper meaning than that. I'm still staying on point. Just stay with me. It has a much deeper meaning than that. See, than just pulling off your shoes in a church to feel more holy. Yeah, come on now. Amen. But if you look back in the Old Testament, you study the Word of God, and you'll find in the Word that if a man <clears throat> sold a piece of property, mm -hmm. or if a, a kinsman redeemer would come and, and, and give up his right 
amen, to claim a piece of property, yeah. amen, then what he would have to do is pull off his shoe and give it to that one, amen, who bought the land. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's ever read that? Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. over the roof. Amen. Amen. You place this around. Yeah. Amen. And what that means is he's given up his rights. He's giving up his claim. In other words, that I, 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 I can't claim this. This isn't mine. Amen. It's yours. He takes off his shoe and he gives it to him and gives up all rights totally and completely. Gives up all of his claims to that. Everything. He's totally surrendered. He's given up his rights. Amen. And so, amen. You know, we can look over at Joshua chapter 5, verse 15. We'll also find the same thing happened there. Amen. You remember whatever. Well, let's just look at it real quick. Amen. We've got a minute or two, don't we? Amen. Amen. Joshua. Chapter 5. See, that gives us a little more insight into what I'm telling you here. It says in the 13th verse, And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, there stood a man over against him with a sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? Right. And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord am I now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What saith my Lord to his servant? And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place yeah. whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. Yeah. Amen. What is going on here? Amen. I'm telling you tonight. Amen. Oh, if we are to be used of God in any way whatsoever, amen, we will have to relinquish all rights. We will have to relinquish, amen, all of our claims, amen, all and it pain that's within us, amen, we will have to surrender it to God and say, God, amen, you are the way, you are the truth, you are the life. Lord, I surrender everything to you. Lord, you're the one that's going to get it done. I can't do it. Lord, it's not you within me, not anything yeah. that I possess, but Lord, I'm surrendering to you right Amen. now. I relinquish all of my rights. I relinquish everything that's within me, God. Lord, and I give it to you. You're going to have to give it all up. Amen. Amen. To follow him. Amen. Not only that, but all of your desires. Amen. You Amen. desire for it to be this way. You desire for that. You, you may desire for that kind of a calling. Amen. But that'll never work. Amen. You've got to surrender to him Amen. and say, God, what do you want me to be? Yeah. God, what do you want me to do, Lord? God, whatever your plan and your perfect will is for my life, Lord, help me, God. I want to surrender completely to you. Listen, neighbor, it's not about you. Come on. I don't have any will unless it's his will. Right. Amen. I don't have any desires unless it's his desire. And that's the way it's got to be. See, we get in a lot of trouble sometimes. We'll go to make our plans and say, well, this is the way I'm going to do it. I think this is the best way to go about it. And then we'll pray, God, bless this, bless this plan I got. I got a good plan together here, Lord. Would you bless it? Amen. But what we're supposed to do is pray, God. What do we want? What is your will, Lord? What would you have for me to do? Or where would you have for me to go? Lord, what is your perfect will? Yes. Lord, I relinquish all yes. rights to you, God. I surrender myself completely yes. to you, Lord. God, you alone are holy. Lord, I'm not holy unless you're in me, God. Yes. Lord, there's nothing in me. Lord, nothing good. Amen. The Lord even said that. He said there's no good. No Hallelujah. No, no, no. Amen. Jesus told the man, he said, why you call me? That's right. Amen. Except God. And now they told him. Amen. So we can't make our own plan and then ask God to bless it. We've got to say, Lord, what is your plan? What is your will? Amen. Lord, what is your call? Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. See, and then you got to surrender your, your traveling equipment. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yes. You gotta surrender it to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, I can't even walk without him holding my hand. Praise God. Yes, Lord. 
glory to God. Well, I came and walked down in glory. Yes, amen. Amen. He's got to lead me. Yes. He's got to direct me. And see, when you come to that place where you just everything is surrendered, Lord, it's not me. See, Jesus he, 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 in Himself, He didn't really want to go through all that. But He came to a place where He prayed. He said, Lord, not my will, but thine will be done. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We, we, that's the way it's got to be. When we, we need to, even when we pray, we need to say, God, lead me to pray right. Yeah. Help me to pray correctly. Lord. Yeah. Help me to pray according to your will. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because I tell you, anything that's prayed according to his will, it's going to be answered. Amen. 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 Come on, man. Every time guaranteed Amen. his will will be answered. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And so we've got to surrender back to him. And, and that's what's going on here. Amen. And so he said, surrender to me. He said, I'm, I, I'm not. I'm the captain, he said. I'm the captain of the host. Glory to God. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. Aren't you thankful that the captain of the host comes and shows up? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Aren't you thankful that the captain comes in? Glory Amen. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, Elisha, he, he went back after he saw Elijah go up. He went back to that river. Mm -hmm. He slowed it down there. Yeah. He said, where's the Lord God of Elijah? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know what he's saying? He said, it, it took him to get me across this river. It took God to get me across. It's going to take him to get me back over it. Amen. He said, I ain't going no further. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? He just knew I can't do it. But in myself, I can't do it. Right. Amen. Right. But it's in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? I'm not going any further without Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I, I remember uh, as Mary in John chapter 20, she came, all the disciples came and they ran into the tomb. Amen. After Jesus had resurrected. And they ran in and they ran out back out and went back home. But Mary stood without the sepulcher weeping. She said, where have they laid my Lord at? Yeah. And she couldn't yeah. leave without him. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't leaving without him. That's she right. said, tell me where they've laid him at. Yeah. She saw the one supposing him to be the guard. She said, just tell me where you've born him. Amen. And I'll go find him. I'll go get him. Just tell me where he's at. I got to have him. The Bible said she was weeping. She couldn't leave without knowing where Amen. Jesus was at. She got to find Jesus. Amen. Church, my goodness, why can't we do that? Amen. We need, we need to know where he's at. Know what his will is, yeah. what I'm yeah. trying to preach. Amen. He's got a plan for your life. But if you don't seek him and cry out to him with all your heart, amen, you'll never know it and you'll bump from yeah. one place to the other trying to make up your own will. Amen. Do you know what I'm saying tonight? Amen. Is this making any sense? Amen. 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 God has a plan. Amen. He's got a will for every one of you. Yeah. He's got a work to be. Yeah. Amen. He's got a call on your life. Yeah. Every one of you. Amen. You may not be called to be a pastor of a church. You might be. Amen. Amen. I don't know what the call of God is, but there's a call. He's got a call Amen. on every one of every person. Right. Amen. He's got something for you to do. Amen. And so tonight I want us to answer the call of God. We're living in the last days. The Lord is just about to come back. Amen. And I want us to be about the Father's business. I'm about to close this message out. Amen. But I want us to be about the Father's business Amen. with all of our heart and to reach out. Amen. And go into the highways and the byways and the hedges and compel them to come in. Amen. And invite them to church. Amen. Invite them to your church. Amen. And just, just get them saved. Get them filled up with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We, you know, we don't have to try to clean them up. Just get them saved and filled up. I tell you, I believe you get somebody filled up with the Holy Ghost, you won't have to call them and remind them what they church is. Come on. Amen, uh -oh. brother. Uh-oh. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen, but we... Hallelujah. 
God's got a call on your life tonight. And I, and I want you to really think about this as we close in prayer tonight. Amen. God has got something for you to do. Praise God. God has got something for you Hallelujah. to do. Hallelujah. As he used Moses, Joshua, every one of them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We preached Thursday night how that, that God used the, the, the men that he went to borrow the, the little cloak from. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, they didn't realize it, but there's going to be some about and preached about and talked about for thousands of years. Amen. What a great word. Just that. Just that. Glory to God. Amen. God has something for you to do. Amen. We need to answer the call of these yes, days, so the last days that we live in. Amen. We need to be doing all that we can. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, Lord, I thank you tonight. Lord, for this word, God. Lord, help us, God, to be yes, Lord. with all of our heart, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, help us, Lord, to step up, Lord. God, I don't let the phone just continue to rain, God. Lord, don't let the phone, Lord, just Thank keep ringing in us, Lord. Let it ring, God, unconcerned. Lord, help us to step up, Lord, and answer for that call tonight. Lord, God, I know you've got great things in store, Lord, Lord. in these last days. Lord, I know the enemy is coming and stealing and killing and destroying and trying to do everything he can to divide churches and ministries and homes and marriages. Lord, but tonight, God, I know you've come that we can have life and have more abundantly. Lord, tonight, I'm believing that your power is still, Lord, just as strong as it's ever been. Lord, I believe that call of God still rings out true tonight. Lord, for whosoever will, Lord, would step up, God, and answer this call, Lord, and carry the greatest message on this earth. Jesus Christ, oh, crucified, oh, God, out of the world, God, help us, Lord, God, tonight, Lord, deal with someone's heart here, Lord, help us, God, to step up, Lord, God, and not have the paralysis of the key, Lord, God, but to go forth, Lord, in the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, be used of you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the Lord, the Lord could choose to, to send an angel down and, and tell somebody the gospel message he wanted to. He could choose to, to, to send some, you know, some type of a miracle. But that's not the way he chooses to work. He chooses to use people. That's right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You remember uh, Cornelius? Yep. <laughs> you remember how he got saved? Yep. See, he'd been praying. He'd been he'd been doing everything, wanting to get right. Yep. Peter was up praying on the housetop. Showed him the vision of the unclean. four corners, come down all the unclean things. You see, God could have sent an angel down there to Cornelius and told him that message. That's right. But that's not the way he chooses to work. Amen. He can see he's working on both of you. Woo! Come on now. Amen. Come on, yeah. Hallelujah. He's a multitasker. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. See, he was getting something right in Peter's heart all at the same yes, time. Right. Right. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. See, God chooses to use people. That's right. Amen. Amen. So he chooses to use you tonight. Amen. Yeah, he's got something for you to do. Amen. I believe that, that God has been dealing with, with people here. Well, I'll talk about just right here tonight. But but in the last days, I believe God's been dealing with some of you that, that he's got something for you to do. He's got a work for you to do. Amen. Maybe you don't even know just exactly what it is, but you feel compelled and you feel God dealing with you. And he's got a work for you to do. Amen. I, I want to encourage you tonight to, to really begin to pray like never before and ask the Lord what his will is for your life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
I want you to really pray like never before. God, Lord, what would you have for me to do? Where would you have for me to go? What would you have for me to say? Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God has a word for you. So many times the devil lies to people and he tries to tell them, well, you've been too bad. God can't use you. Come on now. Look where you've been. Look what you've done. God yeah. can't use you. Yeah. Can I remind you of the Apostle Paul? Here's a man that went around killing Christians. Yeah. Here's a man that went around. I mean, if you're a Christian, he would kill you, stone you. He's going to die. But God would take somebody that, that would kill Christians and save him and use him to write nearly half the New Testament. Yes. My God, don't ever get to thinking that, that, that you've done something. Amen. And that, see, that's, that comes from the devil. That yeah. comes straight from hell. Right. Amen. Right. They're trying to tell you that you can't be used with God. Right. God can't use you. God can't, you know, yeah. he tries to convince you you can't be filled with the Holy Ghost because you, you, you Come on, got man. too many problems. That's right. My God, that's what the Holy Ghost is for to get you through the problem. Amen. And God can use you. Hallelujah. And he will use you. Amen. And if you have a desire to be used with God, Amen. I'm going to all these pastors to, to come up and pray with you tonight. If you feel that God's got a call on your life, maybe you feel like you're just not doing it, you know, not that you're a rebel or anything, but you just haven't stepped into that anointing, haven't stepped into that call yet. You feel God dealing with you to do something in the ministry. I'd like for you to come down here tonight and let's get these pastors to come and anoint you and pray with you and believe God. Amen. Amen. For you to go forth and be used uh, tonight. Stand. Everybody stand with me for this year. You. And tonight, I, I want you to, if you feel led that God's been dealing with you about something that you need to do in the ministry, I want you to step out and come on down here. Just line up across here. Amen. And come on, pastors. All the pastors come up here, too. Amen. And let's pray for these. Amen. I believe that God is going to anoint these tonight. Amen. Because he said, if you're hungry and thirsty, he'll fill you. Uh, Amen. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on up here beside me, Pastor. Come up here. Come on, Pastor. Come on up here with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Amen. If you feel that God's been dealing with you. Amen. Uh, maybe to, 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 to just be a witness to go. Maybe in the hospital and visit and pray for somebody or, or whatever it may be. God's been dealing with you and, you and you want to be used to the Lord. Come on. Come on. There's probably some more. Come on. I pray everybody come. Amen. If you feel God's calling you to do something in these last days, you come on right now. Amen. We'll wait just another minute. Amen. And we're going to anoint you and pray for you. Amen. And believe for God to use you. Amen. How many believes God's got a great thing He's going to do in these last days? Amen. Amen. I'm talking about a great thing. Amen. He said in the last days, He pour out His Spirit for all flesh. Hallelujah. Sons and daughters are prophesied. Amen. We're believing. Amen. That we're going to see this take place. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. God has
you can only see in the spiritual realm. You can't see things in the natural realm until you see them in the spirit realm. We walk by faith and not by sight. God said, I want you to look in the dictionary, in the Greek dictionary, and find out what the word walk means. The word walk is, is a very simple message. The word walk in the Greek simply means this. Put one foot in front of the other. Yeah. Take one step in front of the other. We was in revival several years ago. I believe it was in Hartford, Alabama, and a lady come up and, and, and said, I want you to pray for me because I want to know the will of God for my life. I want you to pray that God would lay your hands on me and pray that God would show me next week and next month and next year and five years from now what God wants me to do. And stupid me started to do it. And I started to lay hands on this lady and pray for that. And God said, don't you do that. Yeah. He said, I'm not going to tell her but one step at a time. <laughs> we walk with one step at a time. And when we take that one, he'll show us the next. God said this. He told me, Brother Jimmy, he said, I will not tell you what's going to happen next week, tomorrow, next month, and or, or next year. He said, because if I do, you quit now. Right. Come on, somebody. See, let me say it like this. For me, I can't handle it. You know what? I can handle One step. Come on. So, so God is not going to tell you next year. Five years from now, He's going to let you know. 
one step at a time. But when I take that one step, I'm going to do it by faith. And if I, when I do that, I'm going to see things in the spiritual that will begin to reveal things to me in the natural. But God don't speak to us through the natural to show us spiritual things. He speaks to us through the spiritual things to show us natural. And sis, especially you out there are throwing your yeah. You've been seeking God because you want the will of God in your life. But you, you want to know more. You want to know more than God is ready to let you know. You understand what I'm saying? You see, I'm going to tell you one thing. And when you do that one That's right. Amen. He'll give you the next one. Yes. Amen. Are you sure? Yes. Amen. 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 I say unto you this night, you will believe and know that I am God. I say that I will do great and mighty things among my people. I say too long my people have walked without faith. But I say unto you this night to walk in faith. And you shall see my words. Hallelujah. Let's lift the hands up to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you to Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord Thank you,
Lord, for your word. And thank you, Lord, for the gift of the Spirit operating tonight. We thank you, Lord. God, that your mercy is still reaching out to us tonight. Thank you, Lord God, that you're still watching over us, Lord. God, keep it us safe. Lord, tonight as we come to a close of this service, Lord, we just ask that you would go with us, Lord, all the different ones in different churches, different families, Lord, as we go our separate ways tonight. Lord, that you would bless, Lord, and just keep us all safe. Father God, keep your hand upon every one, Lord. Oh, God, when you use us, Lord, I pray, God, Lord, this, this message wouldn't soon be forgotten, Lord. God, that we would carry this gospel out, Lord, and take a step, one step at a time, one day at a time, line upon line. Lord, God, that you will be done in our life, Father. God, and bring us back at the next appointed time. And give you the glory and praise for in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you all tonight. I love you. Appreciate you so much.